This entire cartoon video was created with AI, so you don't need any fancy cameras, you don't even need much experience to create it. And if you want to create videos just like this, I'm going to show you how to make AI cartoon videos without showing your face step by step. And we're going to do this in four steps. Number one, we're going to write the story and then we're going to create the AI images. After that, we're going to animate them. And finally, we are going to add in some AI voiceover for narration. And I'm also going to put in all the prompts that I'm going to use in this video in a free PDF so you don't have to remember everything. Let's get started. So step one is to create the story script that we're going to use to create our video. This is the exact prompt that you're going to enter into ChatGPT. Write a short, engaging story that can be turned into a cartoon style, animated video, and these are the requirements. So the length is about 60 to 90 seconds when narrated. You can always adjust this if you want want it longer or shorter. I'm also asking it to use simple language. This is really important so that the audience is able to engage. And then we're also going to have a clear beginning, a conflict and a resolution. So this is going to be how our story is going to be structured. So where it says story topic, this is where you're going to enter in the exact story idea that you want to create. So this is mine, a story about a young girl named Fiona who saved her village from drought. When it comes to tone, you can decide the kind of tone that you want your story to have. So you could either have it as inspiring, emotional, educational, or even motivational. For mine, I want it to be inspiring and emotional and you can also choose the audience for your story so you could have kids you could have adults you could even have general audience which is what i'm going to go with then you can enter that yeah this is what chat gpt has given us and you can see the story has been given to us in a narration mode now the next thing that we want to do is to break our story into scenes this is going to give us a sort of storyboard so that we know this is what is happening in scene one this is what is happening in scene two scene three and so on so this is the exact prompt that you can enter into chat gpt to have it break your story into scenes break the story below into six to eight short visual scenes for a cartoon style animated video. And then I also give it some specifics. So for each scene, I want a scene number. I also want brief visual descriptions. Yes, yeah, so you can see that ChatGPT has broken our story into seven scenes. So for each scene, we have exactly what we asked it for. We have a scene number. We have what is happening in that particular scene. We even have some camera suggestions. Now we can go to the second step. We which is really fun and that is of us creating the images that we are going to use to create our story. Now remember that in the first step, we have had our story and we have broken it into scenes. Now we need prompts for us to be able to create images for each scene. So this is the exact prompt that you're going to enter into ChatGPT. Generate image plus video prompts to bring this story to life. So here we are going to get image prompts and we are also going to get video prompts and you'll see us using video prompts later on. And for each scene, we want a cartoon style 2D illustration of the main character description and other specifics that are in this prompt. Again, remember that all the prompts are going to be in the free PDF in the description down below. Enter this and you can see that now ChatGPT has given us each scene plus two prompts. So the first prompt is an image prompt and the other prompt is a video prompt. So you have the first scene, which is the drought. We have the first prompt there, which is an image prompt. And then we have the video prompt. And this is the same for all seven scenes. Now we can go into starting to create our images. And the tool we are going to use here is OpenArt. And the good thing about OpenArt is that it is going to allow us to create the AI images, to create the AI videos, and even the AI voiceover, all without ever leaving the app. So that is really awesome. I'm going to leave a link for you in the description down below for you to sign up into OpenArt. And once you've signed up and signed in, this is going to be your dashboard here. We want to go to where it says character. This is what we are going to use to ensure that we get consistent characters for all the images that we create. So you can either start with an image 
if you already have a reference image that you want to use but since we do not have we're going to start with the description so click on that yeah and now here we can describe what we want as our main character so i'm just going to go back to chat gpt and i'm just going to copy this first line here this is uh one of the description for fiona i think we can use this to get our main character fiona so just copy that come back to open art here paste it here and then you can choose a model to generate this main character with so you can see we have different models here but i'm just going to go with the open art default here you can also choose a style in which you want to create your main character in i'm just going to go with pixar and then we're going to click on generate yeah, and we can see that OpenArt has given us four images here that we can use any of them as our main character. I kind of like the third one here. So this is what I want to use as Fiona. So I'm just going to select that one there. And then we're just going to click on build. And now you can see we have what we call a sort of character sheet here. So we have Fiona in the front view. We have Fiona in a close-up view. We have her with a full body image here. And we also have her back view here. So this is really important. It's going to help us to have a main character in all of our images. So now we need to name our main character here, who is Fiona. So I'm just going to type in that. In case you wanted to give like a backstory, you can also do that in this description section. So I'm going to save our character here. Yeah, you can now see that Fiona is ready for the spotlight and we're just going to click on done. Now we can start creating our AI images. You can see my character here who is Fiona. If you've created more than one character, you're also going to see all of them here. So now we're going to go to where it says create visual here. So we're going to click on choose character from library and then we're going to go to my characters here, click on Fiona and now we can start creating the other visuals. So we're going to go back to chat GPT so that we can get the first prompt for the first scene here. So we're going to copy this and then we're going to come back to open art here, paste it here. And now we can see that already our character is tagged here, but we want our character tagged uh, like in the place that we want when they are mentioned. So we're just going to add in here where it says of Fiona. So we're going to have at Fiona here. Here, so now we have two tags. We can remove the first tag. We don't need it there. Okay, we can also see you can upload a reference image here. If you had one, we don't need one. In generation mode, we're going to go with first here. You can also specify an output size of your image here. I'm going to go with 16 by 9, which is normally what you use for YouTube videos. You can use 9 by 16 if you want for a TikTok video for the model. I'm going to allow it to go with auto, but there are some models here that you can choose. If you prefer, click on create. I'm going to allow it to generate two images at a time. Yeah, so you can see our very first images here. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we have Fiona surrounded by uh, the people from the village here. Yeah, that's the first image and this is the second one. Okay, let's generate some images for the second scene here. So we're going to go back to chat GPT, copy the image prompt for the second scene here. Again, come back to open art and we're going to paste it in the prompt area here. And again, we're going to look for where Fiona is mentioned so that we can add in the tag here, which is sort of adding our character in place here. I'm going to allow all the other settings to remain more or less as they are. Click on create. Yeah, and again, you can see we have two more images created for us here. And then you continue until you have created all the other images for all your scenes, which is what I did. So these are all the images that I created for my seven scenes. Yeah. And in case you like any of the images as you look at them, you can start them. So it is going to be easier for you to use them on later so these are all the images that i created and you can see that some are stored. now we can go to the third step which is us animating our images or creating ai videos from the images that we already have again we are still going to use open art here so when you want to create your ai video just click on the image that you want to use for that particular video so up here, you can see there's many things that you can do to this image here. All these, you can do them, but I'm going to cover them in a separate video. What we are interested in is the image to video here. So click on that. 
Yeah, so you can see this is going to be our reference image. It's going to be the start frame here. And then we're also going to choose a model to create the video with. I'm going to go with Kling 2.6 here. And then we're going to go back to ChatGPT and we're going to copy the video prompt in the first scene here. Yeah, then you come back and paste it here. You can also decide the duration of your video. I'm going to go with five seconds. I also want to have the audio off since we're going to be using 11 labs to create our narration later. Click on create. Yeah, this is what our video looks like. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you can see that the video looks really nice. Now I want to show you a really neat trick here that you can use to sort of lengthen your video or just ensure that it is transitioning well into the next scene. So I'm going to go to where it says grab frame to video here and you can see that you can grab any frame inside of the video but I want to grab the end frame of this particular video. So that end frame is now going to be our start frame for that video so you can see it here. So now we want to go to the end frame and we want to choose like sort of the next scene so that this end frame is sort of going to transition to the next scene. So let's go to our history and I can choose one of the images here. Uh, maybe we can have Fiona sort of touching the ground. We can also change this particular prompt here. So I'm going to take the video prompt for the second scene. Since this is sort of the second scene, we just have the end frame for the first scene transitioning onto this. Take it back to open art, paste it here. And the duration for this could be maybe 10 seconds so that it can be a bit longer. Click on create. Yeah, and this is what we have. we have that end frame where we have Fiona standing among the village people and then we have her sort of touching the ground. So that is one way that you can use uh, to sort of lengthen or create a transition in between uh, your videos. And then I went on to create all the other videos just as we have done for all the other scenes. And these are all the videos that I was able to create. So now we can go on to the fourth step of creating the narration or the voiceover that you're going to use for our video. And again, we are still going to be using open art. So we're going to go to where it says audio here and we're going to create our voiceover. Click on create voiceover. You can see we're going to be using 11 labs inside of open art. And this is where we are going to paste in the script for the voiceover. So I'm going to go back to chat GPT and this is the exact prompt that I'm going to enter so that I can have it extract the voiceover narration, extract only the narration from the story. And I also give it some specifics there, enter that. Yeah, so now we have our voiceover narration script here. So we're going to copy all of this and then we're going to go back to open art and paste it here in the script area. Yeah, and then now we can choose the voice that we want to use. And there are some parameters here that you can use to filter by. So you can filter by accent, you can filter by gender. So maybe we could go with American. For gender, we could go with female. For age, we could go with middle aged. And uh, you also have some use cases here. I'm just going to have it set as all. And then we have some voices here. And I listened to them. This is the one that I liked, Serena. You can also do a bit of voice control. You have speed, you have stability, you have similarity control. You even have a style exaggeration. So I only played around a little bit with the speed. I reduced it just a little bit to 0 0.9. And then I created that. Yeah, and this is the voiceover that we now have to use for our video. Download that. And now we're going to go to the final step. And that is of us compiling all the different assets that we have created into one video that tells our story. For that, we're going to be using CapCut, but you can use any other video editor that you prefer. Yeah, and now we're going to import all our assets. That is the AI images, the videos, the music, the audio, all those assets that we have, we're going to import them into CapCut and then you're just going to align them in the way that they follow each other. So let's look at what our final video looks like. The sun blazed over the little village of Luma. The fields were cracked and dry. The riverbed was empty. The villagers sighed with worry, unsure how they would survive. Fiona, a young girl with curious eyes, watched the empty riverbed. She remembered the old stories of a magical well hidden deep in the forest. 
Many said it was just a legend, but Fiona believed. With a small bag of supplies, she ventured into the forest. The path was steep and shadows loomed, but she pressed on, driven by hope for her village. Just as the sun began to set, Fiona found a glimmering pool of water, shimmering under the fading light. She filled her jars carefully and raced home. When she returned, the villagers cheered as she poured the water into the fountain. Slowly, the dry earth drank deeply. The fields turned green. Laughter returned. Fiona smiled, tired but proud. She had faced fear, trusted her heart, and brought life back to her village. Even one small act of courage can bring hope to many. Yeah, so that was the final video. You can let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Now, if you want to try this yourself, you can download the free prompt kit in the description down below that has all the prompts that we have used for this particular video. Also, ensure you're subscribed to the channel for more tutorials like this. My name is Paris, and I'll catch you on the next one.